hello everyone welcome to youtube channel nanotech today we are going to discuss how you can uh, make a wi-fi router to act as a wi-fi extender for your existing uh, 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 wi-fi device for that uh, i have created this uh, picture for your information let's see so this is the original internet in my uh, house uh, whose SSID is PTCLFF and this is the additional router which I wanted to configure with the original device PTCLFF and it will act as a Wi-Fi range extender or a Wi-Fi repeater for this device. The idea is to generate the Wi-Fi signals here and, uh, uh, and operate uh, different devices like tablet, mobile phone or uh, TV and uh, it will be getting signals from this device and it will extend its signals from this uh, area to this area because if I don't have this Wi-Fi repeater the signals will which will be generated by PTCL FF will not be enough to uh, help these devices uh, function properly so this is the main idea of actually uh, this is the main idea of Wi-Fi extender actually so in my case the original uh, uh, extender the Wi-Fi extender device name is TP-Link 301C which will be later connect converted as PTCL FF so the SSID will remain same for both the, the devices so uh, wherever I am in my house I will be getting only uh, one SSID but the signal strength will be uh, same as uh, it is here even if I'm standing here in this corner I will be getting the same signal strength with the same SSID uh, because of this Wi-Fi repeater so let's start with that one first I wanted to show you what is the current uh, strength or speed of my internet for that I need to go to the settings then this this page will pop up and uh, I have to go to network and internet option you can see the uh, Wi-Fi is connected to PTCL FF then I have to go to here network and sharing center and I have to click here you can clearly see the speed is 78 MB per second so this speed will be increased when we will done with the configuration of Wi-Fi extender so uh, you re you need to remember this uh, digit 78 so I'm going to close this window for now I will minimize this okay you can see here the PTC the uh, the internet is currently connected to PTCL FF uh, to start the configuration process I will forget this and I, I need to connect my uh, laptop device with the TP-Link 301 you can see it is connected I can disconnect it for you and then I will reconnect again okay so this I need to connect like this okay so now it is asking me asking me for the uh, password of uh, connecting to TP-Link 301C so I already have taken the picture of the back side of the Wi-Fi router you can see the SSID is mentioned here TP-Link 301C and this is my password to connect myself to this device so I'm going to enter this password to connect myself to this device like 9894-3920. This is my password. So it will keep on working, but after some time you will see it is connected. So I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the Chrome. Okay. Let's go here. Okay. So I need to enter here with the IP address 192.168.0.1. So this is the IP address if you wanted to configure uh, the Wi Fi device as a Wi Fi repeater, you need to enter this uh, IP address. So I will enter here. You can see this is the Wi Fi page which is open now. So I need to select some password here. This you can keep whatever you like just you need to uh, fulfill these uh, uh, important parameters 
then you can connect it to the device so here the password is set now i will press start okay so this will be the first page which you will see when you will enter into this additional wi-fi router configuration so here you can see the the router uh, model wr840n so this is the model number tlwr840n so you can see this is the same model which i have shown you in this picture here this is the same model so i'm now entered into the into its configuration so here are multiple options we have but uh, to make the wi-fi uh, router to work as a wi-fi range extender you need to go to the quick setup first so after clicking here you need to go to next then you will see multiple options here if you wanted to uh, act if you wanted this router to act like a Wi-Fi range extender without a wire you need to go to this selection if you wanted to uh, if you wanted this Wi-Fi to connect to the existing Wi-Fi uh, with the wire connection you need to go to the access point so in my case I will go to range extender and I will click next so it will now scan all the available APs here so let's wait for a while and it will pop up uh, the available networks okay now we have this list but uh, these are all from my neighborhood i think uh, this is the wi-fi device which is uh, actually uh, of my house which is on the ground floor at the moment i need to connect my this additional router with this ptcl ff so i will connect here and I will keep all this information same as it is, but I need to enter the Wi-Fi password of my original device here, whose name, whose SSID is PTCLFF. So I will write the password here, 123456784567848. So this is actually the password of my original device. Now I will click next. I will keep all this information as it is now i will select again next and i will finish click finish here so now you can see the system is rebooting we need to wait for a couple of minutes for it for its uh, function to be 100 percent once it is completed 100 percent our wi-fi device will be configured so as long as the wi-fi device is not configured i have taken this picture uh, initially with my mobile just to show you how it will look like before the configuration uh, one light will be green and one light will be orange and it will be blinking so once it reaches to 100 percent then i will show you okay so you saw the when it turned to 100 uh, percent the connection is already lost it means uh, now i am disconnected with my uh, 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 tp-link device now i can see the wi-fi rotor uh, lights are changed to green uh, initially one light was orange and the other one was green now both lights are green this is actually the indication that your TP-Link device is actually configured with the original Wi-Fi device as I told you before in this picture. Now both my devices, are, this is actually the main device. So this device is actually now configured with this device. And now both are having the same uh, SSID which is PTCL FF. This is gone now. If I will search in the internet option, you will see this tp link it's just showing let me uh, off the wi-fi then i will turn it on now you can see the tp link 301c is gone now i have uh, having now i am having only one in wi-fi connection which is ptcl ff now i will enter the wi-fi password which is actually same for both devices the one on in the downstairs and the one on the first floor now i will click enter here <clears throat> and you can see the wi-fi is now connected or it will take a few seconds to connect let's wait for it okay now you can see it is connected now i am having only 
वन एस एस आई डी इन माई होम बट आई एम हैविंग टू डिवाइस वन इज द मेन डिवाइस एंड वन इज द सेकेंडरी डिवाइस सो दिस इज माई प्राइमरी डिवाइस दिस इज द सेकेंडरी डिवाइस बोथ आर हैविंग द सेम एस एस आई डी विच इज पी टी सी एल एफ एफ एंड नाउ आई एम गेटिंग दीज सिग्नल्स to any corner of my house because one device is on the ground floor and the other one is on the first floor now just for your information and to just to double check we will go back to the network settings here here this is the network and internet settings then i will go again to the network and sharing center and this is my wifi device i will click here okay so what was it initially it was 78 mbps now you can see it is 144 mbps which is actually the speed of my original connection so now you can see uh, i am sitting on the first floor but i am getting now 144 mbps on my first floor so it means uh, the wifi extender is working perfectly and it is uh, bringing all the signal strength to my first floor so that's how we do the configuration of a wifi range extender uh that's all for today thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you so much